What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Geek Man. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use Surfshark. Now, I'll link all of the special deals and offers or discounts that I could find in the description down below. So make sure you check that out if you're interested in Surfshark. Besides that, let's get right into how to use this uh, uh, VPN program. Now, it's probably one of the simplest uh, UIs that you could find in the industry. Here you have your favorites, where you can store your favorites. You have all kinds of locations here. Uh, Surfshark has over 3,200 servers, so you have plenty of servers to mess with. Uh, static IP, you also have, if that's an option you're looking, you're looking for, that's also uh, a very good option. You have quite a few uh, places to pick from. Now, if you don't know what a static IP is, static IP makes it easier to work remotely using a VPN or other remote services. You know, you may have a router or more than one router on the same network and you need a static IP for it. Static IP addresses also make it easier to use voice over IP for teleconferencing or other voice and video communication. So, you know, it's a great option to have, you know, even some uh, some other VPNs actually charge you for uh, getting uh, static IP services. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty cool that uh, Surfshark gives you that for free. Uh, well, you know, it includes it's included in the subscription and you have multi hop, which is uh, known as double VPN in uh, other words. Uh, double VPN, if you didn't know, so what, what a VPN does obviously is it tunnels your connection through their servers and that's one server and one IP address. What double, what double VPN does is that it tunnels your connection through two tunnels, through two servers and two IP addresses, making it harder to find your IP address and even harder to leak, get anything leaked into the uh, web outside of these servers. So that's a pretty cool uh, feature here. Obviously, uh, keep in mind that if you use the uh, multi hop, naturally, it will drop your speed, it will drop your speed more so than when using uh, just a single server. So just keep that in mind. Uh, now getting into the features. Um, it's you, you have a pretty clean UI here, there's nothing to mess with besides uh, these couple of options here. Now, you have clean web which blocks ads trackers and malware. Now, the the ad blocking isn't exactly the best, you know, you may find you may still find some uh, ads here and there, uh, while uh, keeping this on, but you know, it's better than nothing, it'll block most ads for the most part. So, you know, it's not really that bad uh, to you have nothing to lose to keep this on is what I'm saying. Whitelister is pretty much split tunneling. And if you don't know what split tunneling is, it's uh, you get to pick which apps go through the VPN connection and which don't. So here's how to use it. Whatever connection you're trying to route via the VPN, uh, you can here just select an app. Let's say um, I don't want anything besides hmm, besides uh, let's say Qubit Torrent to go through the VPN connection. I don't want any other uh, software or anything else to uh, go through the VPN tunnel. Uh, let's say I want to watch Netflix and I don't care about using the VPN, but I do want to use the VPN for Qubit Torrent. Uh, so that's something you could do. Uh, another way uh, to use split tunneling is uh, pretty much the opposite. Uh, you can use uh, v the VPN, turn it on and only have certain applications bypass the VPN connection. Let's say I want to keep the VPN on, but I don't want to uh, have my battle net uh, go through the VPN connection because I don't want to drop my ping. So I want to play, let's say Call of Duty, but I still want to keep my VPN on. Surprisingly enough, not all VPNs actually uh, offer split tunneling services. So that's really good, uh, especially for the price here. It's, it's just great. You know, you're roughly paying $50 for two years. Uh, that's uh, roughly less than $10, uh, 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 less than $2 per uh, month. So that's really just great. Uh, so that's, you know, that's the features list here. Now we'll, we'll get into the settings, which is even simpler. Um, you can get through the connectivity here. And what you have here is a couple of options. The kill switch, a kill switch is designed to pretty much cut it or sever the connection uh, between you and the internet if the VPN, uh, for whatever reason, disconnects here, it says disable internet access when VPN connection drops or is turned off. So yeah, if you want to, 
if you don't want to be connected to the internet without the VPN, you turn this on and you will be, uh, you know, you'll never be connected to the internet uh, if you don't have your VPN on, uh, if you don't have your VPN on is uh, what this does pretty much. And uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, connectivity here and getting into advanced. Now, the protocol list here and we're going to there's quite a few protocols. Now, ICAV2 is quick, but it won't work on most uh, servers. So, yeah, that's a downside. OpenVPN TCP is good for upload, but bad for download and ping generally. OpenVPN UDP is the best balance of uh, uh, security and speed. So it's pretty good generally. Shadow Socks is used uh, when, if you're living in a country with heavy restrictions uh, or you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to use VPNs in that country, for example. Yeah, that's that's something you could use. Uh, though keep in mind you'll be um, uh, you won't be able to use all of the servers, uh, and that goes hand in hand with um, uh, no borders mode. So yeah, if you're in a country with heavy restrictions. Uh, no borders mode, it says here, the switch will allow you to bypass internet restrictions such as the Great Firewall of China, for example. So yeah, uh, shadow socks and uh, no borders mode go hand in hand. If you're living in countries where uh, uh, you're not allowed to use a VPN uh, and, and stuff like that, uh, shadow socks and no borders mode will make your uh, browser here. It, it actually says uh, shadow socks will uh, only protect your browser traffic so that it will look like as if it's just normal browsing traffic and even your ISP won't be able to tell that you're using uh, a VPN. So that's just great. Uh, obviously you wanna, again, as I said, you wanna pair that up with no borders mode for maximum security. Now, what I always like to use is the WireGuard. Now the WireGuard protocol is uh, something that most um, uh, VPNs are really adopting right now and they're using and it's just becoming the fastest protocol overall. Uh, yeah, it's it's absolutely great. And that's really just what I recommend. Now, the coolest feature about uh, Surfshark is that and this is probably the only VPN in the world that allows you to do something like that is that it allows you to you to secure as many devices as possible. Many, you know, the industry standard is that VPNs allow you to secure up to five, six, seven, maybe eight devices, or maybe nine in some cases. But Surfshark, you can secure an entire company, an entire household using only one subscription. And you're paying roughly $50 for two years of that service. It's absolutely great. And, you know, uh, Surfshark reliably unblocks the most amount of Netflix libraries actually out of all of the uh, VPNs. So yeah, uh, Surfshark is really just a great bang for the buck. And uh, if you know, there's there's really just, uh, you, you could never go wrong, honestly, using uh, using this kind of service, if you especially if you're, you know, if, if you're not exactly concerned about being uh, you know, having the fastest, fastest connection ever. It's still very fast, by the way. Don't get me wrong. Surfshark is lightning fast. But, you know, if you're looking for a quicker, um, let's say uh, you're prioritizing ping, for example, or download speed, yeah, you're probably going to want to go with Nord or ExpressVPN. Otherwise, Surfshark, I mean, you know, you're going to be paying more, a whole lot more than double or even triple using Nord and Express. But with, you know, with, 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 with Surfshark, you're paying way less. And obviously, you've got a speed test feature, which a lot of VPNs, oddly enough, don't have that. So that's also a really cool feature you can use here. Now, I'm not going to make you guys wait uh, to uh, see the speed test, but it is there. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that's how you do it. So once you adjust all of your options and you're ready to go, you could just uh, get here. And uh, let's say I want to use the uh, United States library for Netflix. So just go down here uh, using the WireGuard protocol. Just connect and three, two, one, and there we go. And that is how to use Surfshark. Super simple. If you're new to um, uh, 
uh, VPNs, you know, there's nothing complicated uh, using this VPN. Again, I will be linking all the special deals, discounts, or any coupon codes that I could find to hopefully save you guys even more money. Surfshark is already very cheap. So if I could even, if I could save you guys a little bit more money, I'll definitely link everything I could find in terms of offers in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. A like and subscribe would help out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one.